Okay, I uh, wanted to show you my uh, solar attic fan system that I built. I built a custom system, uh, a lot more than usual people will build, but I wanted to show it to you. I installed uh, three solar attic fans. Uh, my electric bill went from about $320 uh, down to averages between $140 and $160 now. So uh, every once in a while I'll get a bump from there, but that's the good average. So I wanted to show it to you. Okay, we're here in my attic. I uh, wanted to show you my custom-built solar attic fan system. But uh, let's go right up here. Show you my first one right up there. Uh, that is a Sunrise Solar 1250 CFM uh, solar attic fan. Um, it's got, you can see it's got a thermostat on the bottom of it. Uh, it's not working today. It's kind of a cool day. It's about 40 degrees outside. So the thermostat doesn't allow it to come on until 80 degrees. Uh, but that's my uh, one um, solar attic fan right there. Then you can follow the spine of the attic down. And you can see my other one over there. I'll take and show you that one real quick. Okay, here we are down at the uh, other end of the attic. You can see my uh, number one solar attic fan right there. Now we're going to follow the spine of the roof down here. You can see at the back end of my house, this is on the back door side. Uh, I've got another SRS 1250 CFM solar attic fan. Uh, you can kind of see through the crack that there's not sun. It's a cloudy day. Uh, 40 degrees outside, uh, very cloudy, no sun at all, and the solar attic fan's working. Big myth on the uh, internet that solar attic fans don't work on cloudy days. Busted. Don't believe everything you hear on the internet. Okay, I'm going to go show you my other parts too. Okay, here's the fourth piece to my uh, custom attic, uh, uh, solar attic system. You can see that's the temperature gauge right there. Uh, it's an indoor-outdoor temperature gauge. Um, I put it inside the attic so I know what the temperature is outside and what the temperature is inside. Let me go show you the other end. Okay, here's the other parts of my uh, custom solar attic fan system. You can see there that I put vents in the garage door. Let me get a little closer here for you. You can see I cut um, vents into the garage door. That allows air to go inside the garage. There's my attic temperature sensor there. Now let's go inside real quick. You can see here, this is my third solar attic fan. I keep this one above my garage. That one keeps my garage nice and cool. Also dries out my boat. But let me show you this one more time. Okay, there's the vents right there in the garage. Create suction coming in the garage. Goes up to the ceiling there. You can see that there are, let me go in a little closer here. You can see that there's vents up in the back, 6x12 um, soffit vents. That's my cool surfboard from the olden days. But uh, that allows the air to go in the garage, goes up into the ceiling, into the attic, and there's my third solar attic fan. Uh, it's getting pretty cloudy outside, so it's starting to slow down. This is a remote panel solar attic fan, which means there's no panel on the top of it. There's a wire that runs down the spine of the roof, goes to the back of the house, and the solar panel is in the back there. So I'll go and show you that uh, on the next video. Okay, here's the remaining part of my custom solar fan system. But you can see here, that's my number two solar attic fan that I showed you earlier. Uh, these two panels right here are remote panels. They run a wire down the spine of the roof and go to that solar panel. And then there's a third one on the other side over there. So I have one here, number two there, three is on the other side of the roof over there in front of the garage or on top of the garage. So that's my custom solar rack system, system that I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching.